Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. Welcome back to my Let's Play series here in Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 3DS. We're jumping back in here. Uh, I speculate... Okay, so this is actually on time. Perfect. So I don't have to adjust the clock at all. Um, I do speculate there's going to be quite a few weeds to clean up, and I think... I think Leaf offers some kind of cleanup crew service in this game, but I, I can't quite remember. Um... CSEP in live chat says, sounds good, awesome. Uh, let's rock and roll then. So, let's jump in here and see where we're at. Lots of weeds. I see myself wearing a wetsuit right now. Oh god, I forgot about freaking Rossetti. Every time in this emulator, the game is broken in the emulator. It's whatever. <laughs> There's no real way. You can save... For anybody who's not familiar with my Let's Play series, uh, up until this point, in this version, this emulated version of the game, um, my battery's died. Uh, you can save and continue, and it saves the progress that way, but you can't save and quit. When you save and quit, it just freezes uh, and bricks. It just is like a perpetual saving screen, and it never actually saves or quits. Uh, so you have to save and continue, and then you just basically just turn off the game. Uh, and so every time you sign on, Rossetti does assault you again. Uh, but he also isn't, he doesn't remember that he was there last time because it doesn't save. So you get the same, you don't get like an elevated uh, level of anger at any point from Rossetti. It's just the very, it's the same exact, hey, what are you doing? You forgot to save or whatever um, dialogue every single time. He never gets more angry, which I guess I'm, I can be grateful for that at least. <laughs> CSEP in live chat says, I miss Rossetti. Yeah, Rossetti. Rossetti's an OG. He's, uh, he's one of the good ones. <laughs> um, let me see what I got. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> From my mom. Darling John, there's a handsome fellow down the street who's been catching my eye. It's a puppy in the pet shop. Don't tell your dad. He's allergic. Mom. Okay. Okay, mom. Calm down. Calm down there. Oh, I got another letter from my mom. Do I want this? To my sweet John, there was a fireworks display in town tonight. It was so beautiful. It made me wonder if you could see it from your town. Is it too far away? Mom. Rip these prezzies off. I feel like these letters from mom... So long. Okay, so Renee moved away. Okay, that's the only one, it seems. Um, I feel like these letters from Mom, as an adult, I appreciate them. And, like, the thought behind them. New Horizons, the letters from Mom are stupid, annoying. They come every year at the same exact time and yield the same exact gifts. And it's just lame. They're just not fun. Um, fireworks paper. See, that's a thoughtful, that, like, that goes, foosball table, yes. I think I have a foosball table. Hold up. I think I already have a foosball table, but my my fake mom knows what real me likes. So, that's interesting. Let me run back into my... No cockroaches that I'm seeing, though. Uh, let me run back into my game room here, though. And see if I've got a foosball table. I do have a foosball table. But it's the thought that counts, mom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, virtual mom. All right, so we're gonna run out here and uh, we're gonna pursue some kind of some kind of option to get rid of these weeds real quick. CSEP in live chat says one cool detail detail about this game uh, is the animals never take money as a gift. They never take money as a gift. Explain. What do you mean? Isabel also doesn't take my shell as a gift. I left this sand dollar here because women love sand dollars. It was a whole thing. It was a whole theme of an episode. And I was trying to flirt with Isabel, and she has ignored my gift to this point. Oh, that was weird. 
So either women don't actually love sand dollars. Something's going haywire. On my computer right now. I don't know if it's a computer, if it's the emulator, or what the deal is. But it's not running super fluidly. As you're seeing, but it's fine. I wanted to check if, um... Katrina was in town. Because I need to talk to her 20 times, I think. In order for her to move into my main street. Because she is the last outstanding... Right back here. She's the last outstanding, uh... Business that has to move into my main street until my main street is complete. <laughs> what am I up here again for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to remember. Leaf's shop is in the TNT Emporium, right? If you send them money in letters, they send it back in all the Animal Crossings. Really? Or if they are in a situation to hand them gifts, they hand it back, like for instance, their birthday. I did- is that- so that's all Animal Crossing games? Where your villagers don't take money handouts? They're like, I ain't no charity case. And then they throw the money on the ground, which was a Lonely Island reference for anybody who is old enough to get that. Maybe nobody. I don't know. Please weed. What? Weeding? But I didn't see all that many weeds during my walk. Don't worry so much, John. No, please, please weed anyway. Are you kidding me? So I have to go out and weed myself because Leaf is a bum. Leaf is a bum. You heard it here first, folks. Leaf is a freaking bum. There were definitely enough weeds that I saw on my walk today <laughs> to warrant the necessity of Leaf's weeding service, but apparently not. c -Sep says, is that a compliment or an insult? I think it's a backhanded compliment. I think it's nothing. I think it's just, a, I think it's a cop-out is what it is. He doesn't want to weed, so he just... Also, CSEP says her not weeding. Uh, is Leaf a guy or a girl? Has that ever been established? Like, part of me could care less, but another part of me is, like, curious. Because I always thought Leaf was a dude. And then also Rover. I've never quite pinned down whether I believe Rover is male or female. Or something in between. I guess it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. It literally could not le matter less the gender of any of these fake- these fictitious animals. But in the grand scheme of things, I, I am kind of curious. What the established genders are. Um... If they... You know what? Leaf was not wrong. I mean, it was still a cop-out, and what a lazy bum. I would have paid him handsomely, him or her handsomely, uh, for just his effort to come out and pick up the weeds that are here. Maybe even throw away some of these flowers. There are too many. I feel like there are enough weeds that it's annoying. I feel like it was just a cop-out, and Leaf is kind of a lazy bum. But, you know, whatever. Can you wish on shooting stars in this game? You can. I don't know what happens in this game. Actually, you know what? I actually don't need that. What happens in, in New Leaf when you wish on a shooting star? Because you don't get, like, the star, uh, fragments like you get in New Horizons, right? So does anything happen?
Whoa, I found a four-leaf clover. I wonder if that makes me lucky. I've both wished on a, sh a shooting star and found a four-leaf clover. If I don't get my wishes, then... I and I didn't actually wish. Really, but... If I don't get some kind of happy accident... Happy accident slash wish out of that, then I don't know what I can ever do to be lucky enough. <laughs> plucking all these, plucking all these weeds, plucking and shucking all the weeds. He's plucking and chucking, not shucking. Shucking is like shucking clams, I think, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's not important. All I know is there are definitely enough weeds that I would have happily paid for them to be removed. And I'm kind of bitter leaf with such a lame, a lame-o. It's fine. It's done now, sort of. No, it's not. Nope, it's not. Because there are so many flowers that it's impossible to tell whether or not it's clean. I'm just going to run through all of them and just... Because it's almost spring, and I'm pretty sure more flowers are going to bloom in the spring, and these just need to go. There's also something aesthetically pleasing. It might be the sound. I don't know. But of just blowing up flowers, like the little the clicking sound. The gentle clicking sound of running through flowers like this. Is so relaxing for some stupid reason. Oh my god, I was gonna say, how many times do I have to run over this flower to get it to blow up? Alright, which will be the last one? This one. As soon as I said it, immediately it was down to the last one. I'm just making a mini game out of like, Alright everybody, bet on your least favorite flower. Which do you think is gonna be the last one standing? because I want to kill all these flowers, man. Holy crap. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I know I could just pick them up and throw them away, but like, ugh. C Sip says, what type of town did you pick in the beginning? Oh god. I have no clue. If I had to guess, I would say a pretty one with lots of flowers. Because uh there are so many freaking flowers that sprout up every spring. And it's it's overwhelming. I have to like as you see, I have to like beat them down. Beat them back so it just looks like a presentable town. Um Oopsie daisy. Keep playing. Nope. I am just trying to figure out what button I have to press to look at. What button have I, have I been pressing to pull up? There it is. Okay. I was pressing the start and the select button on this Xbox controller, and both of them just brought up the save screen. I was just trying to get to my Critterpedia, so I can actually eyeball this and see where we're at. <laughs> One. Uno. I think that's also a violin beetle, but I could be wrong. Oh wait, no. I don't know. One. Two. We're two bugs away from completing this Critterpedia. How many fish? I think the char is one of them, unfortunately. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. So we're six fish away, two bugs away. Let's talk about deep sea creatures. Oh my god, we're so far away from this. Uh, let me see. I don't have my phone on me. It's AFK at the moment. Um... Let's just go deep sea diving. What are the odds of... CSEP, you know about in-depth Critterpedias. Uh, do you see any deep sea creatures in there that are available right now that I, that I haven't caught yet? I'm thinking about just going deep sea... Deep sea diving right now. But also... Oh, when's the ore fish available? Is the ore fish available in, in February? I feel like it's only available during the winter, and I think February might consider might be considered winter. <laughs> Let me just run along the board or along the beach here and see if there are any massive fish swimming around, floating around. Is that a fish or is that a shadow? It was a shadow. <laughs> ah, there's a big boy. I don't know if it's like or fish big boy size, but but we caught it, so it's a sea bass. <laughs> Wow. Did I call it or did I call it? If I if I caught it that easily, it was a sea bass for sure. And that guy's not big enough. That last guy was definitely a sea bass. <laughs> so yeah, next week here on the Let's Play, this week we're just kind of chilling. We got the weeds out of the way, I think. Um, we're just kind of chilling. Next week in the Let's Play episodes, we'll we'll dive back into really working on completing Critterpedias. Did a little bit this week in, in other Animal Crossing games, completing Critterpedia pages, but not too much. Not too much. CSEP in live chat says, I know I might have some knowledge about City Folk, but I haven't played New Leaf, but I can check for you. Yeah, if you'd be willing to, that'd be awesome. And I'll grab my phone for... <laughs> between, like, in the next intermission. I was so focused on... I put my phone away, and I was so focused on, um... Setting this emulator up correctly and hoping that it was going to work properly. That I forgot to grab my phone. And now it's all the way over there, and I just... Meh, I don't want to get up. And off screen, off camera. What are you, big boy? Sea bass? Oh, sea bass for days! Sea bass for days! <laughs> this guy over here was a little guy. I wish on a shooting star and I have a lucky clover in my pocket. Give me an ore fish. Even if they're not out right now, just give me an ore fish. That's a big boy, I think. It's definitely a sea bass, but it's a big sea bass. Crap, I blew it. 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 I feel like an idiot. It was probably not a sea bass either. It looked kind of long. Mistakes were made, and I'm a sad camper. Oh, here's another big guy. It's definitely a sea bass. And it got away. Maybe it wasn't a sea bass. They're all just getting away. I did have to, uh, I did put on a setting at some point to make it easier to catch fish, and I don't remember. Well, let me see real quick.
I'm trying to remember the button configuration. Was it Alt? I'm trying to remember what it was, but I don't remember what it was. It's fine. It was like, it allowed you to like go into slow motion, basically. But I think I... I think that was just cheating. Like, I think it was like a V-Sync. It was some kind of syncing thing that made it impossible to catch... Like, literally impossible to catch fish in the emulator. Or like the rare fish. Um, it was some kind of weird graphical issue. But I think I resolved that in the settings. Although that felt very much like... I don't know. I hesitated a little bit because of the fish I just caught before that... Or I just tried to catch before that. I spazzed and reeled it in too fast. So I'm going to tell myself I could still... I'm still in the game here. This is a sea bass for sure. Sea bass! It's another sea bass! Okay, okay. So I. So CSEP in live chat provided me a list. Thank you so much. Uh, let me. Give me one second. Let me check this. So this is for the. Oh, whoopsie daisy. So this is for the diving critters you said right so we got the oyster i don't know how many i have of these the oyster the turban shell the clam pearl oyster sea cucumber sweet shrimp octopus these are all available right now but i don't know which ones you have um i have the octopus <laughs> the sweet shrimp this is a mantis shrimp this is a tiger prawn I'm thinking I need a lot of those, so let me just jump in the ocean. Oops. Oh, some of those are available only on the tropical island, too. Are they all available on the tropical island? Like, if I, would to, if I were to go to a tropical island right now. Would it be worthwhile? I imagine it would be, but... I might just see if I can find another or fish looking fish. Um, none of the ones I mentioned are available exclusively on the tropical island. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, so my follow up question. Uh, what about the or fish? Is the or fish available right now? I apologize for having you like run errands for me, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. Um, but is the ore fish available in February? And if it is, is it available in March too? Or is this like a, we should catch this ore fish right now? It's like now or never. And also what time? I think the ore fish was an all day fish, but it's like only available during the winter, or during certain months. But I could be wrong on that. I could have also just blown two perfect opportunities to catch an oarfish. That could also be true. One I pulled it in way too early, and one I pulled it in way too late. Well, not way too late, but late enough that I didn't catch it. And haven't seen one since. So there's that too. <laughs> Gotta love it. There's a big old sea bass. Why don't we reel this guy in? Oops. Oh, this is a long guy. It's a tuner. A big old tuner. I wonder what my encyclopedia- Oh, snap! 
That's new. We caught a new fish, guys. Heck yeah. It's not the ore fish, but that's fine. I'm not mad at it. So wait, how many more do we have? Ore fish is available from December to May. Sweet. Is it available uh, all day, every day? That might be the last one guy. Oh, no, we have two more. Okay. So there's the big old tuner. I don't know what goes here. Is it a... This is the moray eel, and this is the ribbon eel. So I don't know what goes here. A char, maybe? No, the char is back here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think... Yeah, I think the ore fish goes here. I don't know. We have plenty of fish that we still have to catch. All right, so the ore fish is available all day. It'll be available in March as well, so we're good. We're not pressed for it, but that's cool. I didn't realize that we still needed to get the tuna, and now we have caught the tuna. What say you, sea bass? Really? Really, though? We're going to play this game, sea bass? Give me a sea bass. The most rambunctious sea bass there ever was. Right here. This big boy. Alright, so that's what we're going to call it, I think, with that sea bass. Oh, oh, oh. Did I scare that away? Oh, it's, a sea it's for sure another sea bass. Get out of here. Get out of here, sea bass. Uh, I'm going to run this tuna up to the museum quick, actually. But... Just looking for a big ol' oar fish. And not seeing any. So that, that'll be that. So we'll close it with the catch of the sea bass. Again, the most rambunctious sea bass there ever was. Um, let me run this up to... The museum. This is also a soundtrack that has a lot of nostalgic meaning for me. Um... I was playing this game, uh, this game came out just before I met my now wife, and we used to go on, like, because we were, we met in high school, so, like, we couldn't obviously, like, be together 24-7 like we are now, because we're married and we live together, obviously, um, but we used to go on these little virtual dates, uh, in Animal Crossing, like, I bought her a pink little, a little pink 3DS, um, for, like, one, like, a birthday or something like that, for Christmas, I think it was, actually. Either for a birthday or Christmas, they're around the same time, so it doesn't matter. Bottom line is, I bought her a pink 3DS, and I bought her a copy of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, and we used to, like, we'd go on, like, little dates, like, in the middle of the night, we'd just be like, okay, before we go to bed, let's go play Animal Crossing. And we'd go to Tortimer's Island, and we played, we'd do the tours together and that kind of thing. And it was a lot of fun. Um, so I have fond memories of this game for that, too. Like, diff Animal Crossing has, like, kind of been a background, uh to a lot of key moments in my life so far. And it continues through New Horizons with the pandemic and the restarting of my YouTube channel here. And hopefully this grows into something big and beautiful. Um, but even if it doesn't, I've ha I'm having a lot of fun doing my YouTube channel. And uh, and Animal Crossing, again, has been a background to that. So, very cool. Uh, make a donation. Enough of the sappy bull crap talk. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's donate this big old tuner here quick. And, uh, get one step closer to completing my museum here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. The tuna reminds me of a time when I was still in my baby feathers. Okay, so enough of the sappy bullcrap from me. Let's hear some sappy bullcrap from Blathers now. <laughs> uh, I beg your pardon. I was about to go on a tangent there. Oh, no, I've been going on tangents this entire time, Blathers. Go ahead. You go right ahead. Okay, fine. You don't have to go into detail then. Alrighty, so with that said, there we go. We're going to make sure to save and continue quick, because we do want to save the progress we made today. Um, 
and yes, yeah, so for everybody who's watching this after the after the live recording, uh, watching it as just like a video on demand, let's play episode. Thank you so much for watching.